Good morning, kids. Welcome to children's worship. Let's sing a few songs together. I'm happy today. Oh, yes, I'm happy today. In Jesus Christ, I'm happy today because he's taken all my sins away. And that's why I'm happy today. I'm singing today. Oh, yes, I'm singing today. In Jesus Christ, I'm singing today because he's taken all my sins away. And that's why I'm singing today. I'm praying today, oh yes, I'm praying today, in Jesus Christ I'm praying today, because He's taken all my sins away, and that's why I'm praying today. I'm happy today, oh yes, I'm singing today, in Jesus Christ I'm praying today, because He's taken all my sins away, and that's why I'm sharing sharing the faith. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God, oh yeah. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God, oh yeah. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. No, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, like a river in my soul. No, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, like the ocean in my soul. No, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean, I've got love like the ocean. In my soul, not my shoe. And I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I've got peace like a river. I've got love like the ocean. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul, not my shoe. I've got peace like the river, I've got love like the ocean, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Not my shoe. Hey everybody, so what I'd like us to start with this morning is tell us one thing that might have been difficult this week. I know that there's been a lot of things going on, and so not everything has been as easy as it normally would be. So why don't you share with us one thing that has been difficult this week. Parents, take a minute to discuss those things with your kids. If you need, you can pause the video and have a longer discussion if you need to. But go ahead, share those things with us this morning, and then we'll jump into our focus verse for this week. The B I B L E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B I B L E, the B I B L E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Our focus verse for this week comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 22. It says, Flee from the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Again, we want to be fleeing from the things that are evil, and we want to pursue the things that are righteous. We're about to read a story about when Jesus made a choice to pursue something righteous. It was the first step in his ministry as he would continue to serve people throughout those years of his life. The story we're about to read comes out of the book of Matthew. Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. It's the first of the four Gospels, the four books in the New Testament that tell that story about Jesus and his life. So let's read that story together. So again, this week's story is from Matthew chapter 3. Jesus grew from a baby to a boy to a man. 
When he was 30 years old, he began to preach and teach and do the work that God had sent him to do. First, though, God wanted people to get ready to listen to Jesus, so God sent John the Baptist, Jesus' cousin, with a message for everyone to hear. Get ready! The kingdom is near! Prepare the way of the Lord! John lived in the desert. He wore clothes made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. People in Jerusalem and all around wanted to see and hear him. You need to repent, John would tell them. Stop doing wrong things. Start doing right things. And John would baptize the people who heard his words and did what he said. His message sounds a lot like that verse we read from 2 Timothy earlier, doesn't it? Some leaders came to listen to John, but they didn't want to be baptized. They didn't think that they did anything wrong. They didn't know that God cared more about the heart than how well they kept the law. God wanted them to obey because they loved him. Someone much more important than me is coming, John told them. Someone powerful and mighty. He can change your hearts and help you love and obey God. John was talking about Jesus. And then one day, Jesus came out to the Jordan River to be baptized. But Jesus had never done anything wrong. I need to be baptized by you, John told Jesus. Why are you coming to me here? This is the right thing to do, Jesus said. And God wants me to do this. So, John baptized Jesus. And when Jesus stood up in the water, the skies opened up above him, and God's Spirit came down in the form of a dove, and it rested on Jesus. A voice from heaven said, God's voice said, This is my Son, and I am very pleased with Him. Just like Jesus loved and obeyed God by doing this, and John loved and obeyed God by doing and sending out the messages that he did, we can choose to love and obey God as well. What are some ways that you can show love for God? You can show that you want to obey God today, maybe this week, or in the future. Share some of those things with your family as we close out today's lesson. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for caring about my heart and helping me to see how Jesus and other followers of yours displayed that love in the things that they did. Help me to make the good choices to follow you, not just in the things I do, but with all of my heart every day. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.